Hi guys, my name is Prithviraj. Today I'm back with another short trick video for profit and loss. Before we proceed, a little bit about myself. So I've cleared multiple aptitude exams with above 99 percentile. I've also cleared SBIP of 2018. So let's read this question. A vegetable seller sells 8 tomatoes at a price for which he bought 11 tomatoes on Monday. He wants to make double of this profit percentage on the next day. So on Tuesday, he sells 20 tomatoes for the cost price of X tomatoes. Find X. So first let's try to solve this with our basic approach. So let's assume the cost price of one tomato is equal to one rupees. Okay. So he says a vegetable seller sells eight tomatoes at the price for which he bought 11 tomatoes. Right. So for 8 tomatoes cost price would be rupees 8 so he bought the 8 tomatoes at the price of 11 tomatoes so selling price would be rupees 11 as each tomato costs rupees 1 so profit percentage can be written as 11 minus 8 3 upon 8 into 100 so this comes out to be 300 by 8 or we can write this as 75 by 2 okay now the next day uh, that is Tuesday he wants to earn double of this profit percentage so he wants to earn 75 percent profit so on Tuesday he sells 20 tomatoes for the cost price of X tomatoes okay and we need to find X okay so now for 20 tomatoes right so cost price of 20 tomatoes would be 20 selling price would be equal to x tomatoes right and he wants to earn a profit percentage of 75 percent because it's double of what it was uh, earned on monday so 75 is equal to x minus 20 upon 20 into 100 right we can take 100 this side so it comes out to be 75 by 100 x minus 20 upon 20 this gets cancels out by 5 5 and this comes out to be 15 so x is equal to 20 plus 15 which is equal to 35 so option b would be the answer but to solve such questions there's also a simpler trick that you can apply right so this shortcut technique says if there is a statement which is of the form sp of a products where A is the number is equal to CP of B products then the profit percentage is given by B minus A upon A into 100 of course if B minus A is negative this automatically becomes the loss percentage so you just need to remember this if it is in the form of this where SP of some products is equal to CP of some products, you can directly use this formula. So now let's try to use this formula in the question and we, you can see how quickly we can solve this. So vegetable seller sells 8 tomatoes, the price of 11 tomatoes. So SP of 8 tomatoes is equal to CP of 11 tomatoes is what the question is saying. So profit percentage would be equal to 11 minus 8 upon 8 into 100. Basically 3 by 8 into 100. Okay, so now let's use this formula for Tuesday. On Tuesday, he must double the profit. And CP of X tomatoes is equal to SP of 20 tomatoes. So profit percentage can be written as X minus 20 upon 20 into 100. Since it's double the profit, so we can write it as 3 by 4 into 100. Because we multiply it by 2, so 3 by 8 becomes 3 by 4. Is, e uh, is equal to X minus 20 upon 20 into 100. So 100 gets cancelled out. 20 goes to the other side so this becomes 60 by 4 is equal to x minus 20 x is equal to 20 plus 15 or x is equal to 35 so as you can see with this form with this formula or with this technique you can avoid actually as, uh, assuming values and then double checking yourself at each step and straight away put it in the answer 
so with, so students would find these type of questions a bit tricky because of the language where they'd have to associate and imagine each time the selling price and the cost price but with this formula you can simply avoid all that and unsolve these questions that's it for this video till then keep practicing these questions and we'll come back with a new video soon